so great to see you again. Thank you so much for being part of our Canada Food Facts for Consumers journey. Uh, welcome back. And and how have you been? Yeah, thanks for having me back, Chris. Um, I've been doing really well. It's been a really busy time and uh, a lot of kind of exciting things are on the horizon. So doing a little bit of curling, a little coaching, a little communications, and then uh, also my work with you. So it's it's an exciting time for me. And you're off to Alberta. I am. Yeah, I'm heading to Alberta for the Arctic Winter Games. Um, that one's really exciting. Love being out in Alberta. I've been there a lot for curling. So it's nice to get to go out there and, and be in that environment around coaches and athletes in a, in a major games environment. So have you been to the Arctic Winter Games before? No, never. This is a first time for me. Um, so I'm very excited to get to go and, and be around the coaches and athletes and in that sport environment. What are you expecting exactly, uh, you know, at Wood Buffalo, Alberta, you know, how many people are we looking at and, you know, teams from across Canada or across the Arctic zone? Is that how? Yeah, that exactly. And about 2,400 coaches and athletes. Um, so I'll be there with the Coaching Association of Canada supporting um, a mental health uh, initiative. So I'm very excited to get to, to be out there. And I would imagine being in Alberta, that you're going to at least have the opportunity to sample some some solid Alberta grade A beef. Absolutely. Yeah, that's one of the best parts about being out in Alberta. Um, Alberta beef is some of the best in the world and uh, definitely love having beef as part of my diet. So uh, I'm excited for that. Have a few steaks out there, probably a few burgers, too. That's a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> What are the red meats that, that you like and, and how do they fit into your, you know, your dietary plan as you, you know, coach and, and, and play and, and, and get ready for competition? Yeah, you know, with red meats, I think in being able to meet some nutrient needs in terms of a really good source of protein, iron, zinc and B vitamins, I mean, that's all huge, especially for me, you know, as an athlete and just as a busy person trying to get all my, my protein in. Um, so definitely like love steak, love kind of like that hamburger meat, ground beef, um, is something that I use a lot in my cooking, whether it's like in chili or, you know, hamburgers or steak itself. Um, also in terms of other red meats, you know, trying to play around with things like bison, maybe working that into a chili or into some meatballs and, and lamb as well. Um, you know, lamb chops were something that were a staple in my childhood. Uh, so, you know, on occasion, that's something I also still enjoy to eat. And do you purposely seek out and buy Canadian products over other, you know, countries' products? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm always looking for that label that it's Canadian. Um, I think it's so important to support Canadian, to support the ranchers and farmers here in Canada. Um, you know, Canadian beef is such a big part of our economy. So, you know, as a proud Canadian, I think it's really important to support it. And also knowing that that label also means safety and it means quality. And that's always something that I'm looking for when I make my decisions around what I want to eat. And, you know, looking into the, the farm situation in Alberta, the farming industry in Alberta, I found a couple of fun facts. 30% of all Alberta farm operators are women. I love that. Yeah, yeah. And, by the way, Alberta is home to 40% of all bee colonies in Canada. So I'm not sure if there's a way to combine, you know, red meat and honey, but there should be a lot of good honey out there as well. I, I had no idea. <laughs> so these are the facts that we like to bring <laughs> to folks on these conversations. So uh, anyway, safe travels. Have a great time at the Arctic Winter Games, and we'll look forward to connecting with you when you're back. Thank you, Chris.